I've created this video to demonstrate how the standard of care that I received from Dr Curzon at the Priory Hospital of Roehampton compares with clinical excellence as defined by the National Institute for Clinical Excellence. I was prescribed a high dose combination of antidepressant drugs by the Priory Hospital which caused me serious permanent harm and without any exaggeration ruined my life. This is what the National Institute for Clinical Excellence says about prescribing antidepressants in combination and its guidance note 23. If your healthcare professional thinks that you may benefit from combining one kind of antidepressant with another, you will be offered a meeting with a specialist who will start these treatments. Your treatment should be carefully monitored and discussed with you. There are likely to be more side effects with combined treatment and this should be explained to you. Taking these points individually, firstly Dr Kirsten at the Priory Hospital was well aware that I'd been fine on the minimum dose of one of the drugs alone to the point that I'd stopped taking them altogether. It is therefore beyond me why he should think that I should benefit from combining one kind of antidepressant with another. Secondly, your treatment should be carefully monitored and discussed with you. I was advised to take the combination of antidepressant drugs by fax without any medical supervision and against the advice of my GP. Thirdly, there are likely to be more side effects with combined treatment and this should be explained to you. Not only was I not told about possible side effects, according to a letter sent to me by the primary hospital, it appears obvious that I was being prescribed this combination of drugs on a theoretical notion that one drug would, would reduce the side effects of the other. How the primary arrived at this conclusion is a bit of a mystery because in the same letter they also say there is nothing in the literature about this treatment. As far as I'm concerned, prescribing antidepressant drugs in combination in high dosage by fax without any medical supervision whatsoever could not be further removed from the recommendations of the National Institute for Clinical Excellence and I cannot conceive that anyone would think otherwise. For the benefit of anyone from the primary hospital watching this video who is not aware of the National Institute for Clinical Excellence, this is their website address.